Bless the Lord, all of you, his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word and heeding his voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you you all. And with your spirit. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who depose in marvelous order ministries, both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. War, war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointing. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore rejoice, you heaven, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial song. In the sight of the angels, I will sing out I will sing your praises, Lord. In the, In the sight, sight of the, the angels, angels I will sing your praises, Lord. Lord. I will give you I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the, In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praise, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praise, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers, who do his will. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe, because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Father. Before I uh, commence into the homily, on Thursday, for you who watch this Mass on video, it'll probably be posted later than usual. I have a doctor's examination. I am some issues with my shoulder, which has now affected my arm. So, I uh, need to get that checked out. Okay. Well, today the church celebrates the feast of the archangels, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. One of the things that I find very uh, beautiful in the angels, as we speak of these archangels, the archangels were created greater than us, more akin to God in the beginning than we are. They're spirit. And before the incarnation, God himself was spirit. They have a much greater intellect than we do. Being a spirit, they can be in places almost instantaneously between heaven and earth. Uh, being a spirit, it always goes the uh, question, how many angels can fit on the head of a pen? Infinity. Because they're spirit. They take up no matter. Now these great creatures made by God serve a purpose. And here's the beauty of the archangels that we celebrate today. Their purpose is to serve God, and in doing so, take care of us, help us, assist us, serve us. One of the original archangels, Lucifer, found that beneath his dignity, and as we know, rebelled and fell from grace, along with other angels with him. But these great three chose to honor God by doing a service that in one, some ways was beneath them until the incarnation where humanity is now elevated to a dignity greater than the angels. For we will be in heaven like God who is currently in heaven and his son both in spirit and in body. And you and I on the resurrection of the last day will arise spirit and body and pray God join Jesus, Mary, Joseph, the angels in heaven. But they did not find that task beneath them. Instead, they gave praise and glory to God who asked them to do that for us. And they do so willingly. It's a beautiful state to really think about that in whatever vocation we have been called, priesthood, laity, married, widows, widowers, single, yet to be married, in all of these states that we find ourselves we can give praise and glory to God by the way we live our life, the way that we perform the tasks given to us as we live our life. 
and that we can imitate the great archangels by being men and women of joy, men and women who are willing to do what God asks to the best of our abilities as the angels do. For their task is yet to be completed. It's ongoing until the end of the age, assisting us. Our task during our short life is one of trying to do the best we can to honor God by what we do. So let us pray today and ask the archangels to assist us, to protect us, to lead us and guide us so that we can live the best life possible and in doing so give praise to God who gave us today, who gave us this life. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, probably deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. No, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. No, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video. And for you here present in our chapel today, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the repose of the soul of Harold Drew and the consolation of his family for whom this Mass is being offered this morning. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without the end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For I live in the good of all this holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so that you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Thank you for your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. So once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, to await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you to enter into my womb. But I will speak the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you.
Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength, under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, <coughs> Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when he humbly pray. May the evil of Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits. Who wandered through this world seeking to run ourselves. Amen. The divine grace, protection, and storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels.